Hi there, and welcome to the short introduction about an update we've done recently on our color picker. It's the third one, a couple of small bug fixes, optimization, and we've added two options which makes this color picker more convenient. I'll show you how it works. I've made this simple starting point for building a UI. It's just a container inside of the project. I've made the project 1280 by 1280. Set the children alignment to center. The container itself is slightly smaller, thousand by thousand. Gave it a different background color, and this is how it ends up. Look for your tox on your hard drive and just drag it in. And you see that it already pops up here. The way how this tox is programmed, it's basically looking at its parent and extracting the mouse cursor's position. And with a couple of chops techniques, you can interact with it and drag it around. Press P to go into the settings menu. Please resize it over here. If you mess up with these parameters, it will destroy certain bindings. So please resize the color picker over here. If you would close it, if you are more interested into a fixed UI, you can switch floating off and you just have your fixed color picker UI send it back to floating you can interact with it close it You're probably going to drive this view toggle with a button so we can fix something like that let's see take two containers Let's see, make this one slightly smaller. This one thousand as well. Fifty. Put a button in here. Going to cut this one. Put it in here. So there it's back again. Going to Align this from top to bottom. Okay. When this happens, make sure you set this one to crop on for the other containers as well. Let's see. Okay, yeah, now it's working fine. Let's see, give this one a different look. Yeah, something like this. Okay, the button, use a job execute. Make this one momentary. So the out one. Button one, out one. Let's see, up level, container one, color picker docs, view. So, Parent, second parent, so parent, second one, op container one slash color picker docs. Parameter view is one. From off to on. 
So if it closes one, we have a working button. Let's go to the color picker tox again. So you can drag that one around. Close it. And there it is again. You've noticed that when I'm closing it, resets its position to the 0, 0.0. You can also switch this one off, the reset position after closing to off. So now if you close it up here, it remembers where it was positioned at. Switch on the floating shadow. But that's not your kind of aesthetic. And of course the fixed UI color picker. It works like a color picker you are probably familiar with, with something like Photoshop or Affinity. Designer. The second option we've added is we have this palette. And if you, for instance, pick a color, you're probably going to use further up. Put it in your palette by pressing this color indicator. So you can create color palette, your can use further up front in your projects. So if you press one color, it will jump back to the position where it picked the color. It's convenient if you just want to make a slightly adjustment. You can clear this palette by pressing this pulse button. Do floating again. And just stack up your palette with new colors. And just edit them afterwards. You notice that this color indicator is changing with it. So you can Pick a simple parameter chop and drag this color picker over here. You can leave every parameter inside of it, but you can also pick color asterisk. So now you have a chop. And we can, for instance, change the background color of this container. Let's see. The name, par1. Up. Inside, par1. First channel. Copy it, paste it, one second channel, two and the third, background alpha, one. Now we have color picker attached to the background color.
close it and there it pops up again you can of course also drive other color receiving tops like this and that's basically it make sure you leave this color picker tox intact because when you're messing up with this architecture inside of it if you know what you're doing be my guest but be careful if you have any uh, suggestions for additional features please uh, let me know leave a comment free download at our patreon please like and subscribe to stay up to date and we'll catch up next time